fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. The tides influence when, when and where you fish. So usually when I'm bait fishing, you want to fish outgoing tide. So usually um, the best time is on a high outgoing tide. So you could go to like your app or you can look on your fish finder. And as you can see that little cross with the circle, it's just starting to go out as you see it over the top where it's just starting to go out. So this is actually an excellent tide to be fishing when you're bait fishing. Why so is that? Normally, like when the water is high, like right now, we have so much rain, you could probably catch them on both tides because the water is still going to go pretty fast. So usually when you have a normal year, when an outgoing tide, you'll have um, the water moving pretty fast. And then on the incoming, it almost comes to a halt. And usually when there's no water moving, you get a ton of little fish that'll pester and eat all your bait off. So usually the outgoing tide is a better tide to fish. But when it's real high like this, you could usually catch them on both. And does the moon phase make a difference? Um, I'm sure it does, but I don't usually fool around with that. I think on the full moon, they, they'll spawn. Stripers spawn on the surface. Um, they don't spawn on the bottom. They, they're a surface spawner. So, you know, they're up on the top of the water. So usually on when you get a full moon, the water temperature is right, they'll they'll start spawning. Usually I don't, I haven't, I usually see a few around here during that time of the year, but most of the time they'll run way up north, up in the Calusa area and night's landing and spawn up there. <laughs> So right now we've got four rods out. When you get a bit, do you pull your you other line count. in? Three. I'll, I'll take that part out that you just said. <laughs> <laughs> do you pull so, the rescue lines out? No, when you hook one, you just leave them out. So usually, like here, if you have a two rod stamp, you can be using two poles. So you can have two rods out. But when, when I hook one, I don't bring them in. I leave them out because a lot of times you'll catch another one. So, Are they coming up in schools? Yes, they move up in schools and they'll move up in pods and when they feed, they'll move up on these shallow sandbars. Where exactly do you want to throw out? So you have your anchor, so you want to cast straight behind the back of the boat. You want to use a sliding sinker, so your sinker slides, you see how the sinker slides? That way, so when you have your rod out, which we balance the rods, which I'll show you, is so that when the fish picks it up and takes it, he doesn't drag around your heavy sinker. So you want to make sure that you always have good bottom contact, so you're better off having too much than not enough weight. Because that sliding sinker will let the fish take it and run, and your weight won't move. It stays on the bottom. What weights do you use? However much it takes. So right now we're using three ounces. So here we go. So we're going to toss it out. How do you know when you're on the bottom? And you watch your line go out and then just lift the rod like this and watch. Clunk, see the tip? Dunk. So I know I'm on the bottom. Dunk. And you want your drag so it comes out a little bit. So you put your drag wants to come out. Probably about four pounds of drag pressure. <laughs> I put rubber bands on my rod just to balance it. So what we're doing is we're balancing the rod so that the, the rod is up, see it up. When you get a bite, the rod will bounce like this. So actually the slower, like a big fish will come up and you might see the rod go like this and slowly going down like that, they'll go straight out the back of the boat and set the hook. And that's called rod balancing. Can they pull it off your beam here? <laughs> yeah, we've had them. We've had them bounce out and then grab them, but I've never lost a rod, but I've caught them by the back of the butt. And if you don't have a bimini top like we're using now, what do you normally use? Um, we usually put a stick across the back. People build custom um, rod holders now, balance beams. Um, Scotty makes one that's a UE that you can, it pivots and the rod will balance perfect in there. 
But you could just use a stick. I mean, we used to just use sticks across the back. Works fine. What's the purpose of the balance beam? To hold your rod up so the rod balances. So when the fish actually takes it, you, that sinker slides. So you'll see your rod just move like this and then it'll just go right on down. You just set the hook, it's really easy. It's Can a you fun. use a rod holder? No, because when you put in a rod holder, the rod don't move. So when the fish takes it, it he'll feel the force and a lot of times he'll spit it out. So you got to, I mean, guys catch them, put them in rod holders, but those are the ones that are dumb and just swallow the thing. So you want to, you want to balance the rod. It's a lot more effective. And do you need to set the hook? Oh yeah, set it as hard as you can and reel and set till you feel it solid. How do you know when to grab the rod? When it goes down and starts, the rod tip touches the water, time to set the hook. Oh, shoot, a monster. Is it your PB? Yeah, no, it'd be yours, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's your PB. <laughs> the worm is bigger than that. I told you. <laughs>
I'm using monofilament and you want to have something that will hold probably 150 minimum to 250 yards of line. Um, it's nice to have a clicker on it um, so you know you can put it on bait mode when you want to let the fish run depending on what you're using for bait. And I use 20 pound tests so I use 20 on my main line and that's pretty sufficient you know it's probably good enough. On my leader to the hook I usually use anywhere from 15 to 20 pound tests depending on what I'm using. If I'm using power worms I'll probably use 15. Um, like today I just use 15 because I'm too lazy to retie. So basically 15 to 20 pound tests on your leader. And I like to use um, 5 aught hooks on sardines because the stripers are not hook shy. And I use an octopus style hook. And when I use power worms I use a size 1 aught. So with the power worms I use a lot smaller hook than I do with sardines. <laughs> Fishing is fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.